Here's your KNDY updated weatherology forecast for Northeast Kansas and Southeast Nebraska. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. A heat advisory continues. Lots of sunshine this afternoon with a slight chance of thunderstorms. High of 99. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of thunderstorms tonight lows around 68. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Right now, 88. Mid-America Network News. The unemployment rate in Kansas increased 2.9% in May to continue escalation in the percentage of out-of-work state residents that began taking shape in February, state and federal labor officials said. The Kansas labor force in May consisted of 1.5 million people with 1.46 million employed and 43,800 people out of work. Cashless tolling will begin on the Kansas Turnpike on July 1st, the KTA announced earlier this year. KTA CEO Steve Hewitt announced the release of Virtual Go Cashless Toolkit, which is available at driveks.com. Customers who currently pay at a toll booth can get a K tag to pay the lowest toll. In January, KTA released its per mile toll rate structure effective July 1st, which the KTA says will be the lowest of any cashless system across the country. I'm Stephanie Austin. We want to see you in your perfect ride. We want to see you in a Midwest Kia. Hey guys, it's Morgan and I'm here to tell you if you're in the market for a new vehicle, Midwest Kia is the place to be. We'll be celebrating the Kia summer sales event all month long. To get into the summer spirit, Midwest Kia is announcing the 100k giveaway. We will discount every new car on the lot for a total of 100,000 in discounts. These discounts can be combined with all rebates and incentives, including new Kias that are marked with a summer sticker and extra discounts up to $1,500. Our team will be celebrating the summer sticker sales event each week with a new theme and the goal of moving our entire new car inventory this month. Remember, every new Kia comes with the industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty and our simple, transparent, and fast car buying experience. Come celebrate the Kia Summer Sticker Sales event with the 100K giveaway all month long at Midwest Kia and see why people are singing. We want to see you in a Midwest Kia. Federal judges in Kansas and Missouri on Monday together blocked much of a Biden administration's student loan repayment plan that provides a faster path to cancellation and lower monthly payments for millions of borrowers. The judges' rulings prevent the U.S. Department of Education from helping many of the intended borrowers ease their loan repayment burdens going forward under a rule set to go into effect July 1st. The decisions do not cancel assistance already provided to borrowers. The Kansas presidential preference primary cost state taxpayers $2.78 million. That's actually $2 million less than what was anticipated by the Kansas legislature due to the lack of competitive races in major political parties and disinterest among the state's voters. Only 9% of Kansas registered voters took part in the presidential primary. At the time the estimate was made, it was anticipated there would be a larger pool of candidates still participating in the primary by the time Kansans went to the polls. Nebraska Mid-American Network News, I am Felix Johnson. With construction at the Conestoga Marketplace still ongoing, retail store employees of the relocated stores are delighted with the new look. Staff at Gilks, Trade Home Shoes, Maurice's, American Eagle, and Buckle all agree that the new outdoor aspect allows for better accessibility and has been good for business for each and every one of them. Buckle Sales Associate Isabel Williams had this to say to KSNB Local 4. It's just been awesome. We have a lot more people coming in to look at the new store. It's brought up sales uh the new mall is awesome i'm excited for it there's it's brought a lot of new business we didn't have like a lot going on when the mall was closing when i first started so it's been like a drastic change it's been awesome other employees in management have complained about loud noises but overall there are positive reviews the remaining construction is expected to be completed by 2025 nebraska mid-american network news 
Rusty Eck Ford and local area charities are teaming up for a trade-in sales event. Bring a newer, gently used bike to Rusty Eck Ford and receive up to $2,000 off a brand new Ford. We will donate all bikes to local charities. It's as simple as donate a newer, gently used bike. Receive up to $2,000 off any new Ford on the lot. We donate all working bikes to local charities in the Wichita area. Choose from over 200 new Fords like this 2023 Ford F-150. 1.9% APR for 72 months. 1471 for thousand financed or 2023 Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. 0% APR for 60 months. 1667 for thousand financed or a 2023 Mach-E. 0% APR for 72 months. 1389 for thousand financed. Visit Rusty Eck Ford or RustyEckFord.com today. Absolutely unbeatable. Plus taxes and fees offers can be combined with approved credit. Must finance with Ford Motor Credit. Reporting local news, I'm Bruce Dierking. At last week's Marshall County Commissioner's Meeting, Beth Simons, Ellen Barber, Ruth Wetter, and Carol Hall spoke regarding a five-mile corridor through the county that appears to run along the same lines as the Grain Belt Transmission Line and is among consideration for exemption for future infrastructure development. Commissioner John Unger has been researching this and feels the plan is to have easements granted thus grandfathering in future projects in this area. The process is in Phase 2, and the public comment window closes Monday. Uh, they urged the board to consider a moratorium to prevent further energy construction through the county. The county councilor will consider this and advise the board after multiple executive sessions to discuss personnel and consult with the county attorney. Commissioners voted unanimously to suspend county appraiser Francine Cromie for one week, pending further investigations. County commissioners at last week's meetings heard updates following recent heavy rains with some roads flooded briefly, others damaged, trees plugging bridges, tubes, and waterways. As much as four to five inches fell late week before last in parts of Washington and the southern parts of Marshall County. Washington County commissioners will meet July 2nd with the auditor planning the 2025 county budget after previously taking no action with no second to a motion to extend a health care sales tax, Nemahaw County Commissioners last week approved a resolution that would put the question as to extending a half percent countywide sales tax toward Nemahaw Valley and Sabetha Community Hospitals on the November ballot. Ben Glace voted against the motion in a three-person vote, noting that sales tax revenue has increased by roughly five times from 2015. Patient locations and preferences have shifted, some opting for treatment elsewhere, raising concerns that some in the county are double taxed by using a closer facility to their residents. He noted that a countywide sales tax seems a blunt tool to resolve financial issues, while Medicare reimbursements and expansion are unresolved. He went further to point out critical failures in leadership the past few years, Glace suggesting that a sincere and candid conversation between communities and healthcare leaders is sorely needed. Dylan Keim requested that both hospitals meet annually with commissioners to provide better transparency and use of funds allocated. Jason Cook commented that this question could also have been added to the ballot per a valid petition signed by electors. Again, the question will be on the November ballot in Nemahaw County, the resolution passing on a two-to-one vote. Marysville USD 364 School Board meeting in June reviewed handbook proposals which will be voted on at the July meeting. Focus on improving attendance, dress code, and limiting cell phone use by students are among considerations discussed. A junior high tennis program will be offered next year as a spring activity. A single-engine light plane crash-landed in a bean field a mile north of Beatrice Community Hospital early Monday morning after the plane en route from Seward experienced mechanical problems. The pilot was the lone occupant and was not injured, with minimal damage to the aircraft, which was bound for Arkansas and was attempting to land at Beatrice Municipal Airport. The incident occurred Monday morning around 6.30. Like a young boy turns to daddy To swing a bat and ride a bike like a young girl turns to mommy To brush her hair just right Like the wisdom in grandfather's eyes The perfect gifts that grandma buys For the 
life well remembered. Cornerstone Credit works for you. Selection, value, and service from Cornerstone Monument, Home, Kansas. Here's your KNDY weatherology forecast for northeast Kansas and southeast Nebraska. A heat advisory is currently in effect until late this evening. Sunshine early on today, then a slight chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms with their highs in the mid-90s and lower 100s. Heat index valley is around 106. South winds between 10 and 15 and gusting as high as 25. Scattered showers overnight tonight, partly cloudy with our lows in the mid-60s and lower 70s. Sunshine throughout Wednesday with our highs in the upper 80s and mid-90s, then mostly clear skies throughout Wednesday night with our lows in the mid to upper 60s. There will be a slight chance for some scattered showers throughout the day Thursday, cloudy with our highs in the lower 80s and lower 90s. Then showers and thunderstorms may continue throughout Thursday night, partly cloudy with our lows in the lower to mid-70s. Southeast winds between 10 and 15 and gusting as high as 25. Showers and thunderstorms are likely into Friday, otherwise sunny with our highs in the lower to upper 90s. Then more scattered showers are possible into Friday night, partly cloudy with our lows in the mid-60s and lower 70s. And still a chance for some rain on Saturday with our highs in the mid-80s. I'm meteorologist Kara Foster. Average high temperature late June, 88. Record high on this date, 112. The average low, 67. The record low, 48. Sunset this evening, 857. Sunrise in the morning at 602. Rashes, scrapes, bumps, and bruises, all summertime hazards for kids. We will help with some household first aid alternatives on the Old Farmers Almanac Radio Report. Have you ever tried to buy gold and silver and felt like you were talking to a used car salesman? That's because the precious metals industry is like the Wild West. Salesmen can say pretty much anything or make any promise they want without repercussion. But Genesis Gold Group is different. They're a faith-driven Christian precious metals company and believe in educating their customers, not pressuring them for a quick sale. Genesis Gold Group focuses on customer service, not sleazy marketing. Genesis Gold Group is named after the first book of the Bible for a reason. Proper stewardship of wealth is their specialty. Find out why they've earned a 5 out of 5 rating through the Better Business Bureau and how they can help you secure your wealth or retirement through physical precious metals. Call right now to learn more. 800-603-5815. 800-603-5815. 800-603-5815. That's 800-603-5815. With more practical tips and useful advice, this is the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report for Tuesday, June 25th, the 177th day of the year. Actress Linda Cardellini has a birthday, and the final episode of the soap opera Another World aired on this day in 1999. For kids, an occasional bump, scrape, or bee sting is par for the course in summertime. And if your first aid supplies are depleted, there are everyday household items that can provide some relief. For bee stings, cover the area with toothpaste. The alkyne content helps to neutralize the acidic venom. Poison ivy or other rashes can be soothed with a simple paste made from baking soda and water. And if your toddler overindulges at a picnic or birthday party, give them a bit of papaya fruit. It's been used for centuries to aid in digestion. That is the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. Learn more about natural remedies at almanac.com. Re-elect Angela Hecke, 22nd Judicial District Magistrate Judge, serving you and the citizens of Marshall County the past 19 years with a lifetime of education and experience. I would appreciate your vote in the upcoming primary, August 6th. Kansas, Mid-American Everett Sports. I'm Andy Hoosier. It is game number two for the Kansas City Royals as they are back now home at Kauffman Stadium as they are taking on the Miami Marlins tonight with first pitch at 7-10. It was a long road series for the Royals after playing the Texas Rangers where the Rangers ended up shutting them out all three games. Prior to that, the Royals went 1-3 and three against the Athletics. Kansas City has fallen one place behind in the American League Central, now sitting number three, just one game behind the Minnesota Twins at 42-37 and 37 for their overall record. The Twins at 43 and 35. The Cleveland Guardians still sitting atop the league at 49 and 26. The series with Marlins goes until Wednesday until they have a four game series at home at Kauffman Stadium against that number one team, the Cleveland Guardians, Thursday going through the weekend. Speaking of baseball, the Kansas Jayhawk Collegiate League is still going on across the state of Kansas as well with high school teams, plus NBC baseball getting set to kick off starting July 25th in Wichita. Professional excavators and homeowners, safety always comes first, and safe digging is no accident. So before you begin your next digging project, 
Remember to call Kansas 811 to have your underground utility lines marked for free. Know what's below. Call 811 before you dig. So play it safe. Put down the shovel, pick up the phone, and call 811 first. This message is brought to you by Kansas 811, reminding you that no matter if your digging project is big or small, don't make a judgment call. Always call 811 before you dig. Roll into 2024 on a winning streak at First Council Casino and Resort. Claim your getaway for the greatest concerts, events, and gaming all under one roof. More than 30 acts are booked for 2024. Our indoor water park is a hit for the entire family to relax and unwind. Play with your Seven Clans Rewards card and find out why. We have the most loyal players. Pile up the points and earn one-of-a-kind VIP experiences. Free play and cash. And yeah, about the cash. Seven Clans paid more than $50 million in jackpots in 2023. It's all right here at Seven Clans First Council Casino and Resort. Where the winners play. Highway 77 in Newkirk. Kansas University women's golfer now has a new trophy from a tournament across the pond in England. As KU senior and rising star Lily Hurst has officially won the English Women's Open Championship with the final round wrapping up last week. KSNT News reports that Hurst ended up finishing with a final score of six down after four rounds rounds of competition beating out second place by four strokes in a statement to golf publication at england at golf she said i'm speechless quote i feel i've been dreaming of winning a tournament like this after i won the champion of champions a few years ago hurst won the tournament also by beating at fellow jayhawk teammate johanna ebner who ended up finished tied for fourth at the event in other news with the men's college world series all wrapped up for 2024 baseball season is just about over at least outside of the major leagues. However, the NBC baseball tournament is set to come back to the city of Wichita starting on July 25th and rolling through August 3rd. It's the 90th World Series tournament that's set to be held in Wichita, Kansas. Axtell High School standout Brendan Schmelsley is committed to the University of Kansas to play football following an undefeated high school and junior high career at 8-man Axtell. He and head coach Eric Detweiler shared excitement for the opportunity. Yeah, that means a lot. Um, shows that they uh, believed in me, and especially being an A-man player, they don't know if I'm going to adjust well. But, yeah, it just shows that they believed in me and they trusted me. Easy to coach, uh, easy to get along with. Uh, you know, he's willing to learn um, each and every day. And, you know, at the same time, he takes, uh, you know, if he does something wrong, he's willing to adjust and, and get better. And, and uh, you know, it, it's just, just a great job that he's doing for us. Follow Brandon Schmelsley in the Kansas Jayhawk football program, kicking off this fall live on KNDY FM 95.5. If you're a driver over 50, it may be time to switch your auto insurance. The AARP Auto Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Call today for your free, no obligation quote. Learn more about special rates, benefits, and service designed especially for AARP members. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Certain policy features are subject to eligibility and may not be available in all states. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. If you're mechanically inclined and like working with your hands, like seeing a finished product, Landall in Marysville is looking for you. Currently hiring welders, assembly, paint, material handlers, fabrication, maintenance, and over-the-road drivers. Competitive wages, $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus based on your gross weekly wage, excellent benefits package including comprehensive health and life insurance, paid time off and holidays, gas allowance to drive to work, and profit sharing. Apply online at landall.com today or phone 785-562-5381. EEO Vets and Disability, welcome. At RX Drugstore, you will find an unparalleled level of customer care. Their friendly and courteous staff is ready to help you. Prescription refills are a breeze by calling in or placing your order through their mobile app or website, and free delivery is available in town in the Marysville, Frankfurt, and Beatty communities. Your local Health Mart pharmacy provides prescription, over-the-counter, and durable medical equipment services, as well as stylish gift and decor items for your shopping pleasure. Stop in at RX Drugstore in downtown Marysville today. Kansas State basketball from a rocking Bramlage Coliseum. Wildcat fans, 2024 K-State men's basketball season tickets are on sale now. Drops it up for Gasson! Prices start at less than $15 per game to see all the action. Kansas State in this building is the best in the Big 12. Order or renew your men's basketball season tickets today by calling 1-800-221-CATS or visiting kstatesports.com. How about them Wildcats? 
K-State fans, All-American Ayoka Lee, and the Wildcats are ready to defend Bramlage again this season. Rejected by Lee to a triple team, she'll score in one. Secure your 2024-25 K-State women's basketball season tickets now to see your preseason top 15 cats. It is a sold-out crowd. It's electric in here. Order over New York K-State women's basketball season tickets today by calling 1-800-221-CATS or visiting kstatesports.com. Go Cats! Reserve space in your landscape for the beautiful and fragrant Korean Spice Viburnum. Select a location near a window, along a walkway, or by your patio or deck where you can enjoy the fragrant spring blooms, lovely summer foliage, and outstanding fall color. Hi, I'm Melinda Myers, horticulturist and gardening expert. Grow Korean Spice Viburnum in full sun or partial shade with moist, well-drained soil for best results. Mulch the soil surrounding the shrub to keep the roots cool and moist. Not only is it low maintenance, it also tolerates black walnut toxicity. This rounded shrub needs minimal pruning if planted in a location large enough to accommodate its mature size of 4 to 6 feet tall and 4 to 6 or 8 feet wide. Wait until right after the spring flowers fade if pruning is needed. Combine Korean Spice Viburnum with other zones 4 to 8 hardy shrubs and perennials to extend color and fragrance throughout the season. Check out our website for this and other gardening tips. Find out what's bugging you and your house plants. Trap indoor plant pests with Summit Sticky Traps. The yellow attracts fungus gnats, aphids, thrips, leaf miners, and other harmful pests feeding on your plants. The sticky surface traps the insects where they die without applying a pesticide. Set the trap in the pot and replace once it's covered with insects or every three months. Summit Sticky Traps are available at garden centers and hardware stores. Visit SummitResponsibleSolutions.com for more information. Hi, I'm gardening expert Melinda Myers. Want to increase your gardening skills and grow beautiful and productive gardens? The great courses, How to Grow Anything, DVD series can help. As host of the series, I show you how to design, plant, and maintain gorgeous gardens. So join me in becoming the best gardener you can be. The four great courses, How to Grow Anything, DVD sets cover such topics as container gardening, landscape design, food gardening, and more. Visit MelindaMyers.com for more details. Many small towns celebrate their heritage with a special festival or maybe other important sites throughout the town. New Salem, North Dakota is like those places, but much unlike those places when it comes to what they did to celebrate their history. Story is this edition of the American Countryside. I'm Ty Morgan, host of U.S. Farm Report, the only weekend television show that features some of agriculture's biggest names. From custom commentary from John Phipps to the stories of antique iron with Machinery Pete to a list of more than 30 marketing analysts, our weekly program focuses on the topics that matter most to you. We invite you to join us each weekend for U.S. Farm Report, timely, trusted tradition. Hi, I'm Ag Day host Clinton Griffiths, and I invite you to join me each morning as we cover the nation's food system, from fields of green to orchards of orange and livestock everywhere in between. America runs on agriculture, and here at Ag Day, agriculture is what we do best. Listen as our analysts track the markets, learn about innovations in technology and sustainability, and live the country lifestyle through the eyes of rural America. Join me, Clinton Griffiths, for Ag Day, the country experience. About 30 miles west of Bismarck, North Dakota, you'll find a town with quite an agricultural legacy. New Salem was founded in the early 1880s. The whole scenes kind of came in around the turn of the century. Probably one of the leading dairy communities in North Dakota. Primarily, it was uh, German immigrants that settled here first. Alan Tellman has lived and worked in and around New Salem for all of his life. He knows firsthand the importance of the Holsteins to the area. My family as well, my great-grandfather, started in with the Holsteins around that time as did many of the farms around here. And that's what contributed to the economic stability of the community. As the years passed, people realized the consistent and profound difference the dairy farms in New Salem had on their town. And they wanted to do something to honor the work of present-day dairy farmers and the generations before them. Well, what happened was a group of businessmen and a banker primarily recognized the uh, economic contributions that the Holstein industry did for the community. So they decided they want to do something to recognize that, recognize that quality of the, of the community. Soon, talk turned to action. They got a pot and got a few bucks in the pot, gave it to the New Salem Lions Club and said, let's do something that recognizes the Holstein industry. And from there it took off. It started out with a eight-foot statue on a corner someplace in town. And the more they talked about it, the bigger and bigger the project got. 
And uh, this is what they came up with, a 38-foot cow. Yes, it's a 38-foot tall cow named Salem Sioux, who literally stands overlooking the town and surrounding countryside. She has quite a story, and it's next time. So we travel the countryside, New Salem, North Dakota. I'm Andrew McRae. There will be a household and collectible auction for the Hammett family and the Liz O'Connell Trust. Saturday, June 29th, sale begins 10 a.m. at the Helvering Center in Marysville. Selling antiques for the Hammett family, including two four-foot cast iron horse troughs, crocs, including red wing, fancy glassware, including pink depression, blue, pink satin, and Victorian art glass. Furniture items include a wood dining table with six chairs, four-piece bedroom set, two 18-foot GE refrigerators, they're older, two-gallon water cooler. Selling for the O'Connell Trust, antiques including a walnut dresser and washstand, oak dresser with mirror, oak chest of drawers, oak drop front secretary, lots of fancy dishes and glassware. Household items include queen, full and twin size beds, two recliners, chest of drawers, and miscellaneous. This household and collectible auction, Saturday, June 29th, sale begins 10 a.m. at the Halvering Center in Marysville. Olmsted and Sandstrom will be the auctioneers. Most hay fields are ready to cut. Hi, I'm Jody Henke. Toxic weeds can easily take root, so be sure you know what you're bailing to avoid poisoning your livestock as you're living the country life. Living the Country Life. Ideas and inspiration for your place in the country. You can find more information on today's topic and from previous shows by visiting us online at livingthecountrylife.com. We'll return to the show after these messages. Successful Farming presents the 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast. In each episode, a successful farming editor has a quick conversation with a farmer chock full of stories and advice from their area of agriculture. They're interesting, educational, and perfect for your busy schedule. Search for 15 Minutes with a Farmer wherever you download your podcasts. We could try to explain what it feels like to get your work done on a John Deere. The way a Z-Track mower finishes in half the time you thought it would. Or how much easier it is to move mountains of soil with a 1 Series tractor. We could even go into detail about how it feels to tow up to 4,000 pounds behind a Gator XUV. But if you really want to know what it's like to run with us, you just have to get in the seat. Learn more at johndeere.com slash get in the seat or visit a dealer near you. Most weeds aren't palatable to livestock and they'll avoid them in a pasture if there's adequate forage. However, if a toxic weed ends up in hay, the animals can't easily tell dried weeds from beneficial forage. Ingestion can make them sick or even cause death. Krishona Martinson is an equine specialist with the University of Minnesota. She says some weeds retain their toxicity when dry, others don't. Wild parsnip and poison hemlock are common toxic weeds, and there are dozens of others depending on where you live. Prevention is the key, so protect your animals with good forage management. You are keeping track of that soil fertility. You are keeping track of the pH. You have a regular mowing or a regular grazing schedule. and a pasture setting, you're not overgrazing. That sod, that turf, is quite competitive against weeds. And if you manage it well, you shouldn't have a huge weed problem. Martinson suggests walking around your hay field and scouting for weeds every time you cut. Know the soil conditions they thrive in and avoid those areas if you can. So a lot of these poisonous plants, with the exception of wild parsnip and horulissum, usually tend to like to be in a shaded or a bit of a wet area. And where that becomes a problem is during a drought year when people start bailing up sloughs or ditches or maybe other areas that would be too wet in a normal year and aren't normally a managed hay field. That's when we see a lot of problems. Symptoms of weed poisoning depends on the animal, the plant ingested, and how much was ingested. You might see salivation, excitement, or even death. Call your veterinarian if you suspect the animal has eaten a toxic plant. Find more tips for avoiding poisonous weeds and hay at livingthecountrylife.com. I'll see you in the country. 
Living the Country Life. Ideas and inspiration for your place in the country. You can find more information on today's topic, share your tips, and post photos by visiting us online at livingthecountrylife.com. KNDY. Many temptations that seek to seduce us flow from this one thing. Hi, I'm Rob West with the Faith and Finance Minute. The Apostle Paul puts it plainly in 1 Timothy chapter 6. The love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Of course, money is a necessary thing. It's a tool we use as a means of exchange. And yes, we can use money to accomplish many good things. But loving money and being eager for it elevates money to a place it should not hold in our hearts. Scripture warns that putting money first in our affection is a pathway to pain, not to joy and fulfillment. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Only loving and serving God can do that. Get biblical answers to your financial questions in the FaithFi community. Download FaithFi, Faith and Finance in your app store or visit faithfi.com. Senior Saturday is this Saturday at the Lee Dam Center for Fine Art in Marysville as the Marshall County Arts Cooperative and Sunflower Medical Clinic invite you to join in a complimentary breakfast while perusing this month's exhibition, Vintage Lawn and Garden, a display featuring vintage lawn mowers from the 30s through the 60s along with floral arrangements. All patrons over the age of 60 are invited to breakfast from 8 until 10 a.m this Saturday at the Lee Dam Center for Fine Arts for June's Senior Saturday, brought to you by the Marshall County Arts Cooperative and Sunflower Medical Clinic. Some tips for detecting avian influenza in humans today on Farm to Fork. If you're ready to try a highly effective microbial soil inoculant, then Rhizol from ProGrow Bio should be your first choice. Rhizol offers multiple benefits like enhanced biomass, bigger yields, and improved soil health. 100% organic and works with conventional or organic crops and comes in a soluble dry form for easy handling and long shelf life. Search the web for R-H-I-Z-O-L from ProGrow Bio. Hey there, it's Mike Rowe, and if you're out there getting dirty, do me a favor and remember to call or click 811 before you dig. And when I say dig, I refer to any activity requiring boring, tilling, drilling, probing, reaming, plowing, drudging, or even scoping. Anything that causes you to roll up your sleeves a little and dig in requires you to first connect with 811 so that you can avoid all those buried pipes, wires, and cables underground. To sum up, call or click 811 before you dig and visit safeexcavator.com for more information. While actual cases of humans contracting avian influenza are rare so far, it doesn't hurt to keep watch for it. Jeff Bender, director of the Upper Midwest Agricultural Safety and Health Center at the University of Minnesota, describes symptoms. Cough, fever, joint pain, muscle aches, and conjunctivitis or redness of the eyes as being some things that we've seen with some of these zoonotic influenza, these animal-to-human influenza strains. For dairy workers, as an example, Bender says there are resources available to assist in verifying a diagnosis. Contact appropriate authorities that will help guide with diagnostic tests and just appropriate follow-up and treatment recommendations. And oftentimes you'll get that through the state health department. Bender also cautions that it's not just dairy workers who may be at risk. It's another reason to not drink raw milk. There's a number of things that can be transmitted in raw milk. And so I'm not a big proponent of raw milk consumption. I think pasteurized milk is the best way to go. Pasteurized cheese is the best way to go, the safest. Bender was featured in a Q&A provided by the Migrant Clinicians Network. There's a link to more on the show info page at northshoreproductions.com. That's Farm to Fork. I'm Daryl Anderson. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Please try your call again later. We all know living in rural communities, it's difficult to rely on your cell phone reception. So don't rely on that same connection for your home internet. 5G is fine for your cell phone alone, but if you want a reliable home internet connection with the fastest symmetrical speeds, Blue Valley Technologies Fiber Internet Service is your solution. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash Y-Fiber. Celebrate the Independence Weekend with the annual Days of 49 in Hanover. 
Fun starts Thursday with Land All Night on the Midway, sponsoring free carnival rides 6 to 10. Turtle Races plus Angie Kreitz and the Polka Tunes performing live. Tractor Show Downtown opens Friday at 4. All vintage tractors welcome. First of two big parades, Friday starts at 6.30 with the Koopman Combo live after the parade and the band twice on Sunday performing at 9. Saturday, the tractor show continues. Parade begins at 5.30 with the Joker Band live at 9 and choreographed fireworks at 10. Full details on the Hanover Days of 49 Facebook page. The fun runs July 4, 5, and 6. Save $5 on pre-sale discount armbands available for $30 each at the Hanover City Office, Main Street Market, and Citizen State Bank. Good Tuesday. Sam's back with your latest harvest update here on the Mid-America Ag Network. Your 2024 summer harvest reports are brought to you by Abilene Machine. For agricultural replacement parts at your fingertips, go to AbileneMachine.com. Starting here in the Sunflower State in Rice County near Chase, Doug Kiesling said this year's crop is three times better than last year. However, last year's yields were only in the single digit due to drought. We spoke with Kansas Week about the Kiesling Farms in both Rice and Barton Counties and what their numbers are looking like this year. Kiesling Farms in both Rice and Barton Counties and his best performing variety, Bob Dole yielded an average of 25 bushels per acre, had a test weight of 57 pounds per bushel, and an average of 13.5% protein this year. Kiesling started cutting his wheat on June 7th and only had a mud spot left before he wraps up. And Mike Jordan of Beloit and Mitchell County got his combines rolling and is about halfway done with harvest. We got his numbers as well. He is hoping for an average of 50 bushels per acre with conditions of fields on both ends of the spectrum. Some of the lower yielding fields had a delayed start and did not come up until January. Luckily, there was some late rain that rescued those fields. He reported proteins ranging from 12 to 15 percent and test weights around 61 pounds per bushel. According to the latest Kansas Crop Progress and Condition Report, winter wheat harvested was at 53 percent, well ahead of 17 percent last year and 25 percent for the five-year average. We saw Kansas wheat condition rated 8 percent very poor, 15 percent poor, 35 percent fair, 36 percent good, and 6 percent excellent. Now, if we look at Oklahoma, test weights across the state were ranging from 58 to 64 pounds per bushel. Proteins were ranging from 9 to 13.5 percent with an average of 11.8 as of the last report, being reported at about 40 to 50 bushels per acre in most regions as well. The Wheat Commission calling the state of Oklahoma 95% complete with harvest. Now, in Texas last week, activity in the panhandle was made slow progress due to the rain events that we got. Irrigated yields remain high with reports of 85 bushels or higher. Protein ranges 12% or higher. Harvest across the state is estimated at 66% complete. Your 2024 summer harvest updates are brought to you by PNB Insurance, where crop insurance is our only business. Want to know what your land or equipment is worth? This is Tyler Francis with Gene Francis & Associates and Gavel Roads Online Auctions. For 40 years, we've been connecting buyers and sellers while creating valuable experiences. Our licensed realtors and auctioneers are here to help you understand today's market and buy or sell property. To see what is for sale or to get in touch with one of our agents, check out GeneFrancis.com. Gene Francis & Associates and Gavel Roads Online Auctions. Ready, set, sold. It's storm season, and it's never too late for crop insurance. PNB Insurance is your crop insurance specialist, giving you coverage on the farm and peace of mind. And if you don't have hell insurance now, no worries. You can be covered up to two hours before a storm hits. Get signed up today. Find us online at pbcropinsurance.com or call Dan and the team at 800-722-9525. P&B Insurance, where crop insurance is our only... Need a bull? Lewenberger in Waterville still has five dependable Simagus bulls ready for immediate pickup or delivery. These feature a good disposition with hybrid vigor and strong growth, and traits include calving ease. Call today. Don't miss out. Lewenberger at Waterville, phone 785-268-0647. When it comes to fertilizer, the last two years have been spent talking about volatility and global unrest. But the trends are changing as prices are being reset and there's more confidence on where the needed fertilizer supplies are coming from. That's today on Successful Farming. Check out our full lineup of Successful Farming podcasts. The Successful Farming podcast goes in-depth into the topics that affect farmers and ranchers. The 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast offers a quick conversation between an editor and a farmer. The SF Shorts podcast offers bite-sized interviews about agricultural topics. And the SF Daily podcast covers commodity markets, weather, and the big things happening in agriculture each morning. Search for Successful Farming wherever you download your podcasts. 
interact with Successful Farming on social media. Like us on Facebook at Successful Farming USA and follow us on X at Successful Farm for tips, ideas, timely news, and information from our editors. Find us on Instagram at Successful underscore Farming and love the latest photo or video. And take a look behind the scenes with our editors on TikTok at Successful underscore Farming. Vice President of Crop Nutrients for Growmark, Craig Rule, says that at Growmark, they have a strategy for helping producers select the right fertilizer product. First and foremost, we're big proponents of the four R's, meaning use the right product in the right place at the right time uh, and, and basic agronomics. So that's the, that's the fundamental first decision. Uh, use the right products to support the goal you're trying to achieve. Uh, then when you get when you get past the agronomics, you get into optionality. So then we we encourage people to look for the right values. So whether that matches the the timing that you need to do the work, or whether that match uh, matches uh, synergies with other product applications, uh, that would be basically the train of thought. Agronomics first, and then try and find your synergies later. Uh, we always encourage people. Fertilizer being bulk commodities, they take a long time to produce. They come from all around the world. Uh, we always encourage people to work with their local supply partners to make sure. They make their intentions clear uh, so their partners can help them be successful in their goals. Rule looks for demand to be back for the rest of this year. Uh, nitrogen demand has held very steady, but prices have been very, er, very erratic. Uh, we've seen a lot of people uh, reduce phosphate and potash uh, applications because of the record high prices. Uh, but over the last two years, they've also taken off some big yields. So we see a lot of people coming back into the fold to make the, the P&K applications that they've skipped the last couple of years. So uh, that's positive. Once again, Craig Rule, Vice President of Crop Nutrients for Growmark. For a catalog of fertilizer products, be sure to log on to growmark.com. I'm Lori Boyer. For more agriculture information, log on to agriculture.com. Third Road Ag Sales have concept by Agritech. Innovative technology and proven products improve soil health, increase yields, and allow greater return on your investments. See the difference for yourself with a call today to Third Road Ag. Hay producers, remember they offer American Family Net Wrap and can fill your needs today. Check out Third Road Ag Sales on Facebook. From Kansas State University, this is Agriculture Today. I'm Jacob Clout. Many professions in rural America face labor shortages within their respective fields. Agricultural law is no different. K-State and Washburn Law Professor Roger McEwen provides some figures regarding the number of agricultural lawyers practicing in non-urban areas. If you look at all the counties nationwide, there's about 40% of all of the counties that have fewer than one attorney per 1,000 residents in that county. National average is about four, but um, that shows us that we've got a problem, not just in the plains in the the, uh, western part of the country, but across the country. Uh, You could go to upstate New York, for example, and there's a rural attorney shortage there, just like we face it in uh, Kansas, for example. Uh, We have uh, four counties in the state of Kansas that don't have a single attorney that resides in that particular county. And that story gets repeated throughout the plains and throughout the west. Mick Owen discusses the responsibilities of small town lawyers and how fulfilling their work can be within their respective communities. There are a lot of misconceptions and misperceptions that uh, we have to disabuse our students from, and that is that you have to go to the big city to be successful. No, you can be successful uh, in a small town. Uh, the saying is, 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 you probably heard it, you bloom where you're planted, and uh, you can bloom pretty large in a, in a small rural community, and uh, the feeling of being very significant person in helping people and helping farm families see their legacies continue uh, in their families is very rewarding. And working with farmers and ranchers is uh, a very rewarding aspect of the practice. And, and I hope that our students who end up in rural communities find that out, and I'm sure that they will. He shares how farmers and ranchers can show people interested in practicing law, why their work is necessary to daily life and protecting agriculture. If you've got a a young student or or someone that's working with you on the farm that shows an interest in this, just show them on a daily basis how often you interact with and intersect with legal issues. Maybe you've got a contract issue. Maybe you've got um, aerial application of pesticides. You hire somebody to come and apply pesticides, and there's a problem that results. And then, of course, every day you're making decisions as to when are you going to market your crops, when are you going to buy livestock, when are you going to sell your livestock, 
buying stocks, when are you going to buy your inputs? And that is, a lot of it's driven by tax considerations. Geez. And then, of course, the overall structure of your business. Uh, what's the best way for you to be structured to transition your business to the next generation, to protect your legacy? That was Roger McOwen, K-State and Washburn Law Professor on the sparseness of agricultural lawyers in rural communities across the country. I'm Jacob Clout. This has been Agriculture Today over the K-State Radio Network. Planning for the future includes accounting for the present. Crop insurance protection assures that your farming operation will withstand the variabilities of weather and potential disaster. Rely on the coverage that crop insurance provides. And rely on Linda Schmitz with Linda's Insurance Agency for the experience and personal service that she offers. Call today and update your crop insurance options. That's Linda's Insurance Agency, 1507 Broadway in Marysville. Good Tuesday afternoon. Sims back with your latest market information here on the Mid-America Ag Network. Well, still quite a bit of weakness in the grains and the oil seeds, and choppy two-sided trade in the livestock has been the theme today. We'll start there with June live cattle up 30 cents at 189.20, August down 62 at 184.20, and then mixed figures beyond that. Nothing but weakness for the feeder cattle markets. The August contract down 17 at 258.72, September down 35 at 259.77, and weakness in the hogs. Now, the August contract is higher, but the rest is lower, including July down 37 at 89.57. August, as mentioned, up 17 cents at 86.90. All right, let's take a look through the grains and the oil seeds now. Again, another day of volatility for Chicago Spring, Kansas City. We all down once again. July, Kansas City, we down seven and a quarter to 574 and a quarter. September down to seven and a quarter to 580 and a quarter cent. July, oats down three and three quarters at 304 and three quarters, but the rest of the complex is mostly higher. Corn with some weakness. July down eight and three quarters to 424 and three quarters. September to 431. That's down eight and a half. Soybeans taking the brunt of the hit, giving up much of what they gained yesterday. July soybeans down 15 at 11.60 and a quarter cent. August to 11.44 and three quarters. That's 15 and three quarters lower. Same story for the soy meal markets. July had a big finish yesterday, back down 9.50 a day. Not quite the entire gain they made, but certainly giving up quite a bit of it at 3.63.20. And July soy oil down 82 points to 42.67. Cotton on another winning track as July cotton up 2.21 at 73.50. One last time, we'll take a stroll down Wall Street as we see the Dow Jones down 302 at 39,108. The S&P and NASDAQ are higher as NVIDIA rebounds. S&P currently up 10 at 5,457. The NASDAQ up 163 at 17,659. Quickly through the energy markets, crude oil down 59 to 8104. Unleaded gas is up a half a cent to 251 a gallon. Heating oil down 1 to 251. And natural gas down 4 at 276. Sam Speck with your latest market information here on the Mid-America Ag Network. We want to see you in your perfect ride. We want to see you in a Midwest Kia. Hey guys, it's Morgan, and I'm here to tell you if you're in the market for a new vehicle, Midwest Kia is the place to be. We'll be celebrating the Kia summer sales event all month long. To get into the summer spirit, Midwest Kia is announcing the 100K giveaway. We will discount every new car on the lot for a total of 100,000 in discounts. These discounts can be combined with all rebates and incentives, including new Kias that are marked with a summer sticker and extra discounts up to $1,500. Our team will be celebrating the summer sticker sales event each week with a new theme and the goal of moving our entire new car inventory this month. Remember, every new Kia comes with the industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty and our simple, transparent, and fast car buying experience. Come celebrate the Kia Summer Sticker Sales event with the 100K giveaway all month long at Midwest Kia and see why people are singing. We want to see you in a Midwest Kia. Clothing, boots, accessories, and more in stock at Valley Vet Supply in Marysville, where great prices come with friendly service. For the Western or everyday work lifestyle, I'll fit every member of your crew with jeans, boots, shirts, outerwear, and accessories, too. Plus, ranchers know that everything to keep your animal healthy and safe is found at Valley Vet. Order online for delivery or pickup in store. Valley Vet Supply in Marysville, your dedicated source for all things livestock, pet, and horse supplies. From ABC News, Wall Street Now. The major stock indexes have reversed yesterday's closing readings. The Nasdaq headed into the midday today with a 1% advance. The S&P was up a quarter percent. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was off 264 points. We are flying in record numbers. The TSA says it screened just under 3 million people at U.S. airports Sunday, the most ever for a single day. The agency expects even more passengers on Friday, ahead of the July 4th holiday. 
Boeing's discussions to buy part of a parts supplier have taken a turn. The plane maker spun off Spirit Aerosystems 20 years ago and now wants part of it back. Boeing had been offering cash, but the Wall Street Journal says that with its financial crunch, it's now being switched to a stock deal. Ford is recalling over half a million F-150 pickup trucks from the 2014 model year. Federal regulators say the vehicles may abruptly downshift into first gear. Could cause a crash. Jim Ryan, ABC News. KNDY.